To give you an idea on the environment that I'm installing here, I'm using Visual Studio Code and I'm connecting it to a Ubuntu server. And this Ubuntu server is created as a virtual machine on VirtualBox. And I'm connecting via some extensions. And let's just check that from the extensions. I'm using some extensions to connect to the Ubuntu server via SSH. I'm also installing Docker and this Docker containers and images will be inside the Ubuntu server and not my local machine. So we have in yellow the local machine, which use Mac operating system. And we have also a Ubuntu server virtual machine installed by using VirtualBox. And inside this Ubuntu server VM, we have Docker installed and Docker will run three containers. One in each container will be used for a specific processing. So for the first one, it will be used for the MySQL server, one will create the database, and phpMyAdmin will be used as a web interface to access to this MySQL database. And for the third one, it will include all of the WordPress files and the Nginx and all of the installation so that it can be related to WordPress. All of this container will be connected so in order to just run a WordPress website. The commands that will run inside this terminal, they are not from my local machine. They are from the Ubuntu server, because as I already said, I'm connecting to this Ubuntu server right here. So any commands will be run from the virtual machine. And if we take a look here, so you will see that I'm connecting to the server here using this IP address. Now let's just move to the terminal and clone the project. Okay, I'll go here, bash. And I'll visit this Gatsby WordPress ECF WPML. I'll put the link on the description. Copy the link to call on the project inside. I'll go for inside home and inside this folder and inside the project. And I will call on the Gatsby project. Let's just access to Gatsby WordPress. Let's now just move to the files and I'll open this Docker Compose configuration, which include all of the configuration to run the containers and to have an idea of one inside this Docker Compose. So the first image of the first container will be created from this image and we'll use MySQL 5.7 and the container name will be Gatsby MySQL. If for example, it's just coming out this line, so the container name will be generated automatically. And from this container, we'll set up the root password and MySQL database, the user, and also MySQL password of the specific database. Same for the phpMyAdmin container. So we'll create a container Gatsby phpMyAdmin and we will create it from this image right here, which will give us the latest version of phpMyAdmin. This container Gatsby phpMyAdmin will be linked to the MySQL container of this Gatsby PHP my admin container will be linked to this Gatsby MySQL. And we have a link right here. We are using this MySQL here from the name. Okay, which means that we are connecting PHP my admin to MySQL. And this is my SQL root password that we defined. This is the port that will be used to access to PHP my admin. This 8086. And this is just a port forwarding, but this one will be used to access to PHP my admin. For the last container, we have this Gatsby WordPress, which depends on the MySQL server. We'll use the WordPress latest version image. So in order to create the Gatsby WordPress container, otherwise, if you want to use a specific version, you just can define it here instead of this latest one. For the port to access to the Gatsby WordPress container will be 8000. And for this configuration right here, it will mount this var www HTML inside a WordPress folder. Okay, let's just create it. New folder, WordPress. Okay, we'll have this var www HTML from the container. All of the files will be mounted inside this WordPress folder. And this last part right here, it is used to connect to the MySQL container. Okay, see you in the next video to do the installation.